Now Samson Lee. Williams, he's seen plenty of the ball early on. It's quick hands. It's worked out to Steph Evans. This time it'll count. This time we have the opening score at the Dunhill Stadium. Tackle by Marshall Sykes. Hardy looks to inject some pace. Callum Afoni. He too, though, is rocked backwards. Elias. Tackle it's gone move. up a level of physicality from both teams now. Scarlett's running hard. Edinburgh putting in some real big shots. Out now. Out. It's narrow attack from the Scarlets at the moment, isn't it? One of them has lost his foot in. Evans. Now being held up. Crosby. Had him. Hardy, though. Breaks through. No, that one will count. Calamaphoni. Blacker. Turned 180. And now, here goes Davis. And it's on to McNichol. Oh, it's game on again. Johnny McNichol goes over for the Scarlets. It's another five points to their cause. His patience. He does. Free kick. Calamaphoni in traffic. Sucks defenders. Wait, wait. Scarlets with early pressure here. Stay back, back. At Parker Scarlets. Kieran Hardy marshals the forwards. Blade Thompson within the metre. Still they come. And they're within no centimetres. Six, no hand. But short. still the Lions hold strong for now. Advantage. Try, try for Rob Evans. We've gone for the short one to the front, and Tom advantage. Price sacked. Lots. Advantage coming here. Shot for nothing for Costello, perhaps. Leave him. Aye. First receiver, Scott Williams. Here's Costello. Steph Evans slings it wide. McNichol. Tom Rogers. Easy. And relief all round. Dan Jones fancies it. He looks up and it could be on for the Scarlets. Scott Williams spots the space, has support. Your Nicholas, Jonathan Davis on his shoulders. Jonathan Davis, Tom Rogers, coast to coast. Have a bit of that. Absolutely superb. There's more the crowd to the back line. Will he be involved? The dummy runner. Jones with Steph Evans hitting the line. Steph Evans has got some speed. Max Wane is after him. Is he going to catch him? The answer is no. That is the bonus point try for the Scarlet. Not the best kick because he's found Calvin Nash has looked extremely dangerous and that's found some space. All dependent on the bounce. Oh, Costello has it. Is this a chance? McNichol calls for the kick. He's on the charge. If this sits up, we'll have a score for the Scarlet's fullback. Oh. More of that, please. The so-called second string, and everyone plays 10% above their level. That's the kind of thing that they can produce. It's a really an indictment of Leinster, of Munster's strength and depth, rather. Here's Ken Owens. Davis to Costello, pops one back in the inside for Jonathan Davies. And on the outside is Johan Nicholas. Oh, that's really good. Lovely sleight of hand, and Johnny McNichol is in. And out of absolutely nothing from very deep, the Scottish Six Nations. Six. So it goes from Gareth Davis, the debate about that head collision will continue. I'm sure, but he's free to continue, and here's Johnny McNichol, free to get his hands free and his feet working, and the Scarlets. A little gap opens up for the tight end. Blacker again, looking for runners. A little bit missed time from Price, but he does well to get the ball to the deck, and here they go again. Rob Evans, over for the opening score. On his shoulder, Pascali the tight end, on a little dash. 
front drawer getting heavily involved. He loves that little chip to Smith. Oh, if he'd have taken that, could have happened. But is there a chance for the Scarlets now to go? Steph Evans offloads to Shingler. Shingler, Lucy, who's on his shoulder, loves that one-handed ball. Scott Williams, the captain with the dummy, on the charge. He goes. He's got Blacker on his shoulder. What a score this is going to be for the Scarlets. Turnover ball. Luce. Javan Sebastian is on there somewhere Whoa. as well. A tight head for Samson Lee, and on comes the shove. They're all in there. Scott Williams joins. They're going across. There they over. That is the question that the referee will have to answer. Ooh. I think he was off, oh, off his feet for Zanema there. The Scarlets pinched some Benetton ball there, so it is advantage. Another free play. Scott Williams tries a little kick through. Has another bite of the cherry. Has he broken through? Black is on his inside again. He has some wheels. There's the Scarlets nine. Has he grounded that? Nothing is clear. Two rounds from the Ospreys. Terrific defence against Munster and Ulster. Not so good against Connacht. Davis. Is there a chance to go wide? No one outside. Dan Jones. Oh, flicks it up off the floor. And we have the first. Try of the evening. He's playing nine now. Scott Williams with a carry. Beats the first tackle. That was Newcastle Evelyn on Newcastle Evelyn, I think. Bragging rights in West Wales. That's what's on offer in this match. A shingler busts through. Gets the offload to Blade Thompson. He's looking for support now. It's a Scarlet's pouring over that one. Flat ball. Callum Afoni. It's a little gap. Five metres out, the same way they go, Liam Williams, Luke Morgan with a good tackle on him. He's fallen the wrong way, where's the ball? There it is. Davis digs for it. It's the Scarlet's forwards doing the work now, Callum Afone. Leaves it for the outside half, Rob Evans pass behind. Who's out wide, who's out wide, is it Steph Evans? Nothing wrong with that pass? No, we're going to have a try for the home team, the Scarlet's. A second try for them, and we're off. Now the Ospreys maintain possession. Tayone offloads to Webb. Growing in confidence, I was going to say. Ah, the Ospreys, are they throwing some balls around. Now Johnny McNichol, can he go all the way? Michael Collins chasing after him from nothing. The Scarlets are right back in this. No, the Scarlets know what they're doing. They're trying to play, keep hold of the ball. Patchell with a little longer ball out to Steph Hughes. Kieran Williams over the ball. Kieran Hardy thinks he spotted a gap. There was one there. Through it he goes. 18 phases for the Scarlets. What's the outcome of this one going to be? Offside is the shout. Stay no, side. says the referee. Will Griff John, he plays nine. Shingler breaks one tackle. Are they going wide? Is Johnny McNichol going to stroll in? Yes, he does. He puts the Scarlets ahead. In this Steph Evans, Gareth Davis just feeding the ball on, Ryan Elias goes up to the 22, Reese Patchell chips it over the top, there's a bit of space there, and Liam Williams, rather oh, strange decision that was when it happened, not quite out of the middle there from Suatene, and it was Reese Patchell, and it's on there to Gareth Davis who's sprinting through the mist, and will he get there? Oh yes, is the answer to that, despite the best efforts of Louis Pierre. see the second row having a look, but he's only in support. And still Bristol keeping Scarlets two or three metres out. Can't quite breach that blue line yet. Scarlets go again, getting closer still, over, try. There's a Ryan Elias. Opportunity, real opportunity, two on one, and here is Condier. Condier now skips back in field, still going, has to board. Oh, what a try! Hey, what a try for the Scarlets, the 14 men of the Scarlets. Johnny McNichol gets it down. Remember, down to 14 men. Tom Rogers has gone off for an HIF, that sickening collision. Here is Nicholas. Nicholas running hard and well, and getting away from Ulster defenders there. You could say that the Scarlets deserve a try here. They've played some very good rugby in this first half. Fully committed. And Yako Piper really challenge. Away 20. Still can't get over the line. Kieran Hardy. Evans this time. Three Ulster defenders are tied in. 
Is there any space out there for the Scarlets to exploit? Oh, yes, there is. Thank there you. Is Over the try line once. Top of the jump there as well for Shingler. Perfect throw from Dav Hughes. That's why it's Former nine. Wales in the 20s. Okay, that's the A drover up in Llandavri. And here comes another drive from the Scarlets. Is that once told to use it now? Use it, they do. Scott Williams, a kick through. Johnny Williams after this. I've seen him score tries like that for Wales against England. The man back. Look his lesson. Oh, Blake Thompson did very well to recover and, and catch it. Now this is what Gareth Davis does so well. Steph Evans for the line. Steph Evans doesn't need any of the supporters. Yes. He might have to wait for the ball. We have a change made at half-time on the Scarlet side. Meanwhile, Dan Davis back in the game. Good feet and gets the ball away. Evans again. Scott Williams, the captain. Shingler wins. Dav Hughes comes in at the back. If they go for the mall, at what point do the back start pouring in? Don't Probably not yet. Bang. They're not making any inroads. Okay, no, use it. Good defence from Richie Gray. Use it. Scarlets have a breakaway. Gareth Davis is going to score. He is. Oh, what a second! He's back on his feet. Counter rocking. Scarlets oh, work their legs. Brilliant play. The Scarlet youngsters again. Gareth Davis in midfield. Calamaphoni cuts the inside angle. Ryan Combeer goes on the outside. Flips it in field. Calamaphoni! <laughs> Did he get it down? Did he get it down? Down. down? Aaron Shingler, one handed pass to Tui Pilotu. It comes out wide. Ryan Combeer, Glasgow mistake. Scarlet's fifth try. Oh, that's what he does so well. Rice tops it back, and this is going to be an easy try. Aaron Shingler, first 19 years old, and uh, we're told a rich talent. It's his kick that's taken in by Bonilla, and away goes Cohen Bosch. Look at that flaring pace, gets the pass away. Bonilla couldn't take it, it's grabbed. And that's going to be a try at the other end. Whoa, where did that come from? It's Steph Evans under the posts. Thompson for the scholars, doubling around was Hughes. Blacker, soft hands from Williams as a patches pass, dips a bit, but picked up brilliantly by Conbier. That is a high tackle. And it's Aaron's that could be in big trouble. Blacker weighing up his option. The reach is a good one. Sione Kalamafoni. Andrew Bivens, can the Scarlets have the final say? Onto the right hand side they go. And the offload and the tackle. Nicholas take it up, but he's held to the end. No, he makes it to ground. It's a tackle. Who to goes at Loftus? Steph Evans has a go. New advantage. Hughes. Thompson, he's been good. Needed some support from his teammates. And Evans will go over. Rob yeah, Evans hold on to possession for the time being at least Luchan the inside center into contact the big hits keep coming in from the Scarlets and Zebra lose the ball again we said that way too many times inside the opening quarter of the game it was a knock-on advantage that is now over oh that's a lovely little show and go and a step on the outside for Corey Baldwin who runs in behind the sticks that's a lovely try it all who are experienced players internationally so you would expect them to be able to control it as ever every time they try to be adventurous at line on time it goes awry it's handing the opportunity to Ryan Conbeer on this side now can he get it down he can and that's a second try both the Scarlet's wingers have now scored Yakko Piper just checking Jack Price is last to take his position and it's he who passes inside to Reese Patchell. There looks like there's a certain try here, and it's pretty easy in the end for the Scarlets to get in for their third score of the afternoon in Parma. Johnny McNichol gets his name on the score sheet.
Yeah, it's lovely creative play from the Scarlets. Corey Ball. The Scarlets recycle it. Sean Evans and Gareth Davies. Pat Shulnoy offers himself on that loop that worked a couple of times really nicely in the first half. Good hands from Rob Evans. Try scorer down in South Africa. Now Johnny McNichol, who got the most recent of the Scarlets tries at the back end of the first half. Opportunity here, that's a lovely offload. And now they've got plenty of power from Callum Mofani. And in the end, it's a simple dot down for the bonus point try. And Sam Costello actually is in off the bench for the Scarlets here. And are they about to extend their lead again? Off their first foray, having conceded those couple of tries, they've just woken up again now. Not quite alarm bells ringing, but certainly coming in search of a repost now that again would just suck the life out of Zebra. Johnny McNichol very close now. They're queuing up lots of big targets there to try and bundle over from close range. They thought Evans might just reach there. He's only a metre and a half shy, but Gareth Davies will reload the gun again. And again, look at that. They're only inches short this time. Lozana wants it, and he dives in low. He's in the tournament from postponement, so five points today will certainly get them going in the right direction. And they are going in the right direction here, and it all breaks up and goes loose, and that's a, a simple score in the end. As Halimemos hoodwinks his opposite number, Rodgers now in a little bit of space. It's a great pass from the wing three-quarter. Johnny Williams. Cuts back inside Hall, down by the ankle. Gallimafoni, Costello, through the gap, he's away, over the 22, Costello, all the way! Individual brilliance on the end, outside half, has taken his chance. Get the drive on immediately, but it's still there for the Scarlets, laying the platform five metres out. Plenty of men out wide, Lucy to gain another metre and clean ball perhaps for Gareth Davis, not this time, so Calimafoni takes it up another metre or two, this time possibly it might come out, it should come out, it has come out. McNichol all the way! That's the way to celebrate your 100 games. Yeah, you mentioned two quality players, but two controlling influences as well. Johnny McNichol standing directly behind Sam Costello. Oh, picked up by Callum Afoni. You're never going to stop him from five metres out. Cardiff keeping their eye on... Uh, ...to the Scarlet's effort. Good chasing, loose ball, advantage Scarlet. And they come away with it through Lazada. A lovely pass there, back inside with John Davis. He can't free his hands, but Lousy takes up the charge again, takes up the challenge, one-handed basketball and style. Costello had called for it early, whips the pass out to Rogers. Rogers against Evans, Lozana, following up like every good open side wing forward. The advantage is still there. Davis has a quick look, the scrum half. In goes Rogers. Ball whipped out again, now it's McNichol! Darts through for his second. Arms Park support desperate for the home side to hold out. More pressure on the card of defence. Sean Evans, should he have passed earlier? Still driving through with the Scarlets. Lousy to the blind side. Shingler! Shingler is there! Right. Second half, good tackle, Riscari. Flat as Jonathan Davis. Got more and more into the first half. This man will keep coming around the corner all day in Calamophony. Another penalty coming for the Scarlets. It's the Cardiff defence who's now under pressure. Costello, McNichol fakes, goes himself. McNichol still going. Johnny McNichol gets it to Liam Williams. The Scarlet towards that 22. Gareth Davis says he's had enough. Johnny Williams, Costello, Costello, Lilo turned his back, but he did well to recover. Now Cardiff compete on the floor. Still Scarlet's ball. Calamaphoni, the linchpin of this Scarlet side. 
Dan Davis first receiver, Johnny Williams. Out to Shingler. Shingler back inside to Sean Evans. Gaps everywhere in the Cardiff defence. Unsurprisingly, with 13 men on the field. To Pelotu. Scarlett sniffing a bonus point. Still they come. Cardiff try and steal the ball to no avail. Gareth Davis goes himself. Gareth Davis, ball is there. Try is there. And the Scarlets get a bonus point. Covid it, isolation eh? hotels and then defeat South Africa. But now the Scarlets are finally awakening. And it's Liam Williams against the side who he will face, who he will play for next season. The two drags from Cardiff have come from counter-attack and Matthew Morgan magic, but they haven't offered anything in the last 50, 60 minutes. And now Tom, Tom Rogers. Rogers. Tom Rogers with a try. Cardiff. Lousy. Cardiff have just fallen apart completely. And Jonathan Davis has a run in. Jonathan Davis to go. And that is embarrassing. It's a penalty advantage again. We're trying something. Lizana, the Argentine international with a carry. About a metre short. Hardy, he always fancies a dip. He goes short again. Sebastian. Short. Trying to burrow his way over. Oh, Callum Afoni. I think he's gone over the top, American oh, football. Misdirection of runners. Or whether it's just working hard with that initial carry, getting that second person right in behind. Is it a little three on two, four on three? That shoots out. Cleaned up. And here comes Steph Evans in contact with the forwards. Jack Dixon, ooh, almost got his hand on that one, just lost his footing. Costello, hands, quick hands needed. Liam Williams! the corner, second try for the Scarlet. Looking for the shot. Lead has changed hands Stop, many Stop. times in this URC fixture. No, that's red to ground on that side. East currently leading West. O'Brien, long ball out to Liam Williams, who feeds Corey Baldwin. Baldwin racing for the corner, offloads inside, still in play. Loose ball, Johnny Williams has got it. Oh, will we see this again? The arm is in the air. <laughs> Here comes the drive from the Scarlet Pack. Lineup is over inside the five. Aki Sayuli working round the corner again. On comes another secondary drive by the Scarlets. Blacker trying to shift them over. Short of the line, says Whitehouse, our referee. Callum Afoni burrows. Aki Sayuli, another penalty which could lead to more. Why the Scarlets want to go? Jonathan Davis, long ball out to Kieran Hardy. Bonus point try for the Scarlets. To question the Dragons' defence, and they're doing it very well, very effectively. Advantage coming. Advantage one entry. Well, the Scarlets want more than that. Gareth Davis offloads it to Steph Thomas. On site, on site. Scarlett keeping it tight with the forwards. Lousy, oh so impressive, Sam Lousy. Oh, when your hands... Whenever the wingers get involved, it, it, they really become excited. But there's another turnover. Turnover, Johnny Williams knows. He's up against a prop. And Williams hits the deck. Play. Davis, Ryan Elias, Pacho, Lousy. Good angle from O'Brien against his former region, Angus O'Brien. He has supporters left, but he doesn't need it. Angus O'Brien for the Scarlets, well crafted, and that's the second drive of the... Yeah. So still, the Scarlets down a man with Steph Evans in the bin. One no more! But the rolling ball has been very effective so far in this match, although it's creeping ever closer to the try line and the touch line. Right, out now, out, out. Elias is there in the driving seat. Elias is there over the try line, and that's the third try. Key point of this game. Scarlett turning down kickable penalties, going to the rolling mall. Shingler gives it back to Sean Evans. Sean Evans, the substitute hooker. Here's the peel. 
And it's Rob Evans. It was going to happen. Dan Hughes with the shift back inside for Will Griff. John, Kieran Hardy, a bit of white line fever there. Tackle! He had supporters on the other side. It's a tackle. Everyone has to release. It's on the deck. Patchell, flat ball out to Baldwin. Gathers and crosses in the corner. Johnny Williams, long ball again. It's Angus O'Brien out there this time. He's over for a second. And again, the tackling is excellent. Nicky Smith that time. The Sam Costello support. Oh. And more support. Gareth Davis is has scored. Callum who has fully 15 metres to get ahead of steam. Excellent tackle, Gareth Thomas. He is one of the best tackling props you'll see. A penalty advantage to Scarlett's though. Johnny Williams, Jonathan Davis, quick hands to Ryan Conbeer. Conbeer is away! Oh, what a solo finish by Ryan Conbeer! Gareth Davis feeds. Calamaphony waits and digs it out for Davis. Protection from Rhys Webb. They go left. The long pass out. Ryan Conbeer, his second! Jonathan Davis. Kieran Hardy digs it out. Callum Afoni quick hands to Lousy. Here goes Hardy. Oh, he's clean through. Kieran Hardy gets around. Keelan Giles. Oh, that is quite outstanding. It may be in vain, but that is good by George North. Oh, that's Steph Evans. Callum Afoni. Sharon Aaron Shingler on the outside. Can he get to ground? Will Release. Griffiths. Lockheed. Was holding him up. It is there for Hardy. Callum Afoni drives on. Release. Dav Hughes lends his weight. On they come, the Scarlets, they're not going down. Morgan Jones was 19. Patchell on the outside. Quick hands. Conbeer. Oh, he's at it again. Is it a hamstring? Tries for Ryan Conbeer. On the throw. Let's move to hooker. Gareth Davis, a kick across. Davis, Williams inside. The opening try of this evening's class is a home team one. Johnny Williams over for the Scarlets. We saw him strong at the moment. Under an onslaught from the Scarlets. Jack Price with a pick and goal. Still six metres out of the Scarlets. Morgan Jones gets to the five metre line. Where's the ball? Price to Hughes. Hughes on a trundle, two metres short. Where's the ball? Slow at the moment. Jonathan Davis, long ball out. Combia has crossed for the Scarlet. But as Sean Holly said, five points isn't enough. They need this conversion.